I distinctly remember standing in the delivery room when my wife uh, was giving birth to our first child, Mackenzie, holding her leg. I had one leg, the nurse had the other leg, <laughs> as she was delivering our first child. And then when the nurse took the baby and put that baby in my hands, I knew in that moment that my role in the life of that child and my two other kids who came afterwards was incredibly important, a strong responsibility that I had to be involved in their lives actively. And if you don't believe any of us dads who are engaged in real ways in the lives of our kids, then look at the research. The research is abundantly clear that when kids are engaged with both parents, even if those parents don't live in the same household, those children do better on just about any measure you can imagine less likely mm -hmm. to experience child abuse and neglect, more likely to be ready for kindergarten, uh, less likely to be involved in the criminal justice system either as juveniles or as adults, less likely to have mental health or substance abuse issues, more likely to graduate from high school, more likely to go on to college. The list goes on and on of the benefits of kids who are engaged and connected to both parents. And yet, in the United States of America, if you are low income, if you are a child who is growing up in a low income family in our country, the system is designed to treat both of those households completely differently. Mom, in most cases, and when we use mom and dad today, we're talking generalities. I mean, the percentages are like 90-10 of people involved in the, in the uh, uh, child support system who owe that are dads versus moms. But, so we'll speak very broadly about moms and dads in these particular roles. Mom in the United States, uh, if you are very low income and you have a child at least 51% of the time, you can qualify for a program called TANF, the Temporary Assistance for Needy Families Program, and you will get cash assistance. It might differ in which state you're in, how much you'll receive, but you'll get cash assistance. You might get food assistance or SNAP. Uh, for you and your child. You could get housing supports. You'd be eligible for medical assistance. Uh, you would get employment services to help you to get a job, maybe even education supports to help you to get the skills necessary to get a job. If you are the father in that exact same family situation, families separated, divorced, not together, and you have the child 49% of the time or less, you receive none of those benefits. Maybe with the Affordable Care Act, you could get Medicaid in some states now. Otherwise, you'd receive none. As a matter of fact, you only would not receive nothing. You would be responsible to owe the little bit that you have. Remember, you too are living in extreme poverty. Owe that to the other family. And on top of it, the government's going to take a cut off the top of what you pay to reimburse the government. This is a system that is not designed to promote families, both, family, both parents being together.